Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Dwarf Fortress Seize Your Fortresses. Seize Your Fortresses. Not my fortresses. Let's seize your fortresses. All right, uh, so let's uh, get back to work. Let's get rolling, 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 rolling. Wooden bins have been constructed. Let's go ahead and uh, let's designate some plant gathering here. I'm pretty uh, pretty excited about some of the things that are growing in here. We got some plump helmets. We got some quarry bushes. Oh yeah, gotta go down all the way though. All the way. We gotta go all the way. Oh, I didn't even think about this. I bet we have to make. I bet we have to make a a, a tunnel over there. That makes so much sense. That's why we can't get to the brown zircon. Duh. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, okay. Nice. <laughs> nice. I love it when I have a thought that fixes a problem in advance. Because if I hadn't had that thought, I'd be like, Why aren't they going and gathering the stuff? <laughs> so. Alright. Alright needs uh so it looks like we've ran out of stone are they hauling the stone up here what are you doing with this stone good okay so they are bringing some stone up excellent excellent so we're we gonna have to unsuspend that now yes we are that is a bit of a uh pitfall of this is uh if for some reason it gets stopped on that repeat job we're gonna have to basically say hey make this happen okay so we need to add a new task we need to engrave a memorial slab uh, for Kubuk Moraltman and then we're going to place it in uh, that hallway that we just made which I think was yeah right here Okay, so here comes our hallway. We did find some more brown zircon, so we will go ahead and mine that out. Finding a lot of zircon. A lot of zircon. I'm pretty happy with the way the fortress is going so far. Uh, we have had a few snags with you know some various things but overall I think um, our what we're working on with trying to make our stockpiles work a little bit better has actually went pretty well yep there we go so they're gonna run in there they're gonna grab the quarry bushes and stuff like that uh, we're gonna want to make sure that uh, the quarry bushes can't be like cooked or something is what we're going to want to do with those is we're going to want to use the farmer's workshop to process those into bags. Okay, so they are getting some stone hauled up. Thank you so much for using the stockpiles the way that I want them done. Uh, we want this thing, we want that slab done. Did he already engrave that? Is it already engraved? The job's gone, so maybe he did do it. My apologies, sir. Okay, so let's go to our, uh, I guess you'd call it our graveyard, our cemetery, our memorial hall, and we want to build a uh, slab. So that's Alt-S, and we're just going to put it right there. That way he is properly memorialized and he won't haunt us. Even though, uh, no clue where he is. None. No clue. Don't know. The dogs are chasing something. Is there something on? What, what's going on? Peregrine Falcons. Okay. Yeah, they, they, could, uh, they could be stealing stuff. They could cause some probs. We might need to go ahead and chop down uh, some more trees. It looks like we're getting a little bit low on wood. So, year number two. What will happen in year number two? Well, I certainly hope we don't get a siege. We are not at all ready for a siege. Uh, here's some wood out here, but I still think we probably 
uh, need to go ahead and chop, chop, chop. Choppy chop. Okay, there's a tree right there. It's pretty, pretty funny that we're just like, oh, where are the trees? Where are all of the trees? There aren't any. Uh, that looks like tree roots right there. Yeah, it's a big one. Big, big, big tree. Are there any more? Any more trees? Any more trees? Might be some up on top. Yeah, here's one. One. What else? That's the same tree. Okay, here's another one. Go ahead. Yeah, that'll be fun. I think that'll be fun for now. Hopefully the Peregrine Falcon people don't interfere. Okay, now that we can get to those brown zircons, we can... Uh, oh, yeah, we can unsuspend that. The only bad thing about using the... Uh, okay, there's a thief. Cobalt. You dirty cobalt. Military squad. Commence. Uh, attack. Select from list. The Cobalt Thief. Enter. Give the order. Alright, let's, uh, let's click on the Cobalt and we're going to hit capital F for follow and we're going to see where he goes. Okay, so he's basically running away. Yeah, he's gone. There's another tree. Okay, so we cancel the orders. Our army of one. And I completely forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I was going to talk about the uh, the problem with having our stone sitch the way it is. Right now, the only problem with it is that uh, all of these like loose stones here are going to get hauled down to that bigger one first. And then they'll have to get hauled back up. That is a little bit inefficient. But once we have all of the stones like on these levels cleared out, uh, it'll be it'll work out pretty well all right we have de uh, delayed making beds it looks like we do still need some doors so let's go ahead and make a job for maybe 20 more rock doors get it out of the way 20 more rock doors 20. Have you stopped making drinks? You did. You dirty dog. You dirty, dirty dog. Kitchen. Um, I'm pretty sure I turned that off on cooking the plump helmets. But maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, we definitely don't want to cook them. And we don't want the dwarven wine being cooked. We haven't designated any cooking jobs yet, so it's not a big deal. Would have been a big deal if we would have turned on some cooking jobs, but because we haven't, it's not. So there. Okie dokie. So we're basically just waiting on the caravan to come in. We're waiting on migrants to come in. Once the next migrant wave comes in, I think we will probably uh, be good to make our first militia, which we're going to set up uh, the militia outside. It's going to have to be a, an archery militia, so maybe we should go ahead and uh, crank out some bows. Where did we put that bowyer's workshop? It's carpenter, bowyer's. Okay, so let's add new task. Uh, Wooden crossbow. Actually, let's do it through the management screen. Uh, crossbow. Wooden crossbow, 10. 10 wooden crossbows. No more plump helmet spawn. Well, once we get done brewing some drinks, you, sir, shall have your plump helmet spawn. You'll have it. Okay, okay. 
and I guess uh, since we're gonna do that, I'm gonna build it outside. We can. What we'll do is we'll put up some walls. Where do we want to put it? Probably over here, I'm thinking. So let's build some walls over here. Let's go like this. I think that's out. That looks good. That's fine. And then we'll build another wall across over here. That's fine. And then we'll put a door here. Well, then we have to wait till the walls are done. And then we're going to build some archery targets. Like right, maybe right here. We'll use the diorite. Got plenty of that. How many targets can we get? We, looks like we can get six. That's fine. That seems like a good number. And we need to go ahead and get a rock armor stand. One. And a rock weapon rack. One. So we'll basically have the barracks already ready to go. Assign the squad to it. Bada bing, bada boom. Done. I'm guessing from the way that our animals are kind of like flipping out from time to time, those peregrine uh, falcon people are giving them some fits. Okay, well, just wondering why these aren't getting picked. But people can get in there, so not a big deal. Looks like we're still cutting gems. It's good. A party? I love parties. Except for whenever all of my dwarves drop what they're doing and go have a party. I don't like that. Alright, let's check on our mining venture down here. We found jack shit. Nothing. Not even any gems. out here. Lizards? Yeah, just a bunch of lizards. The lizards going after our gypsum plaster. Nothing in the barrel. The barrel's just hanging out. Okay, weapon rack is ret to go. I guess we'll probably, once all this gets done, we'll floor this in too. What's that? Giant louse chitin. Hmm. A bug. And uh, the stray cow has wandered into here. I wonder. Let's look. Uh, troglodytes, where are they at? Okay, so they're on the cavern layer. Just kind of moving around. We never found that corpse. Alright, so we got some migrants. Great. Great. See how big it is. How big the migrant wave is. Wouldn't surprise me if it was between 10 and 20. 
since we got 10 in the fall, we might get more. So it looks like we're up to 29, 30, 31, 32. I'm just watching the number down in the bottom. Okay, it is still climbing. Has it stopped? Has it stopped? I think it might have stopped. Yeah, looks like it stopped. So let's see what we got. We did get a pretty big wave. It looks like a wave of 18 maybe. 19. Okay, so we got 19. Um, what did we get? Oh, I see some see some pretty pretty big boxes here, guys. All right, so we got two pretty good miners. Uh, another carpenter. Okay. Another woodcrafter. These are kind of inconsequential. Mason, engraver, stonecrafter, animal caretaker. What are these? A high master surgeon and a high master wound dresser. So great. Uh, a soper, a wood burner. He's really good at burning wood. Don't even try to step to him on burning wood. Uh, herbalist, a butcher, accomplished butcher. Oh, good, a leather worker. That's great. That's good timing. We will definitely be making some leather armor probably this year. Uh, he's very talented at dissecting fish, and uh, he's a good metalsmith, so that's good. That's good. Furnace operator, uh, another metalsmith. A siege engineer. Pump operator. All right, well, we still have not... Uh, got well we yeah we did get a weaponsmith we have a weaponsmith right here okay cool military yeah we got some military people anybody with some marks dwarf aha this guy right here is going to be our first uh, militia captain Vukar Arishalid who is also the high master wound dresser and surgeon hmm. okay but we do have another person that has uh, wound dressing and surgery, just not as good. So I don't feel I don't feel too bad about that. Not too worried about that. Well, I guess with that, uh, we probably need probably need to go ahead and uh, we're going to need to make some quivers uh, for our squad when we get some leather that'll be a priority for us and we will need to I'm gonna wait until the barracks is done before I actually assign them into it I think yeah I think I'm gonna do that I'll wait for that okay so now some things are getting planted or uh, getting harvested over here it just was not high enough on the priority list apparently so a lot of things are happening now happening now that uh, maybe were getting pushed back because of other things that were higher priority which is good okay you still making drinks how are we looking on food looking pretty good Looking pretty good. Uh, it's time to make some beds. So we had 20 bedrooms ready. We had uh, a, night, a migration wave of 19. We did lose a dwarf. So that means we need 18 more beds. Eighteen beds, sir. And I wonder if they brought any animals. Let's take a look. Another Polt. Another Polt. A puppy. Water Buffalo Bull and Calf. A Goat. A Donkey Foal. A Horse Foal. And a Baby Alpaca. So I think we have some breeding pairs now. I think we have some breeding pairs. We got a Water Buffalo Cow there. Water Buffalo Bull. So we have... Uh, cool. We have a breeding pair of Water Buffaloes. Donkey, uh, that's a female donkey. That's a mule. Ain't nothing coming out of that mule. Okay, the, so we've got some puppies. So we're definitely going to be probably slaughtering some pups pretty soon. Probably need to 
uh, at some point in time switch over our pasture. In fact, I think I might do that now because it's already showing a little bit of wear. We don't want to run it into the ground. We'll make this one a little bit bigger. And we will set pin and pasture information and go straight for the grazers. Put the grazers over here. So if you are a grazer, please step to the right. Archery targets are done. The wall is coming in. Very good. Uh, once we get the wall done, we can put the door here. Then we're going to floor it and set up some walls between these archery targets. And then we will drop in the weapon rack and the armor stand. And we'll be good to go. Probably about time to start uh, doing some smoothing. Uh, looks like we found a big, big, uh, another big whiff. So let's go down to the next rock layer. Let's see if we can locate something. Now my last two videos have been very long. I promise this one's not going to be as long. Let's just, let's just, you know, take a look. Let's get that, let's get this door in, uh, and get this floor set up. Gabbro? I don't have enough Gabbro. I have enough die, right? I'm gonna cover up the louse. The chitin. The louse chitin. And we'll get these little onesies here. Should have probably put those targets back a little bit, but eh, no big deal. Okay, that floor will go in. Very good. Okay, how are the beds looking? Well, they're coming out. Man, we are we are getting pretty stocked up on drinks, aren't we? Maybe we should uh, turn this off. Yeah, let's turn off the repeat on that. And do, 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 do we want to? Yeah, let's go ahead and make another farm plot. This time we will not be doing plump helmets we might actually do like um, I don't know huh we need to what is that young fungi wood can we chop that down no can't chop it down yet well it's gonna kind of mess up our farm isn't it oh well that's fine what we'll do is we'll just go four wide and then put it right like that. And we'll probably do, uh, we'll set it up for like things that we're not going to eat. We're going to set it up for food, basically. Uh, we don't use the plump helmets for food, but we can set it up for things that we can use for food. So we don't want plump helmets. I don't think we have any other seeds yet, though. So I guess it's just going to lay fallow until we trade and get some seeds. And it looks like he dropped his mace in the middle of the woodstock pile. Good call. Good call. You you definitely won't ever need that, I guess. Okay. Let's um let's go ahead and make a few more mechanisms. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's make some mechanisms uh and make some cages. Maybe some rock cage. Can we make rock cages? Rock. Scheisse. 
Rock cage. I do that so often. Cage. Can we make rock cages? No. Has to be wooden. I normally like to put cage traps like down here. Maybe what we'll do is we'll do like stonefall traps. What we can do is we can put like dogs here and uh, then put some stonefall traps here. The, the dwarves won't have any problem with it, but uh, anybody that comes through will have a problem. So there goes the floor brigade. Okay. Uh, actually, let's let's go... Nah, nah, that's going to take too long. All right, I was going to say let's go to spring, and then we'll put a cut in, but spring's not going to be until 4-1. Uh, so. uh, all right, well... Thank you for joining me in this episode of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress Seizure Fortresses. I hope you're having an enjoyable time. Uh, it has been a little bit slow paced, but uh, you know, that's not always a bad thing. It's good to have a little bit of time to get ready. I'm sure we're eventually going to have a siege or some kind of uh, a wear animal attack or some nonsense like that. So I'm, in, I'm eager to see how our tree sitch turns out over here. So I guess we have to wait until they grow a little bit more before we can harvest them. Since we couldn't harvest this young fungi wood. I don't know how long it's going to take. but Alright, well. I, uh, I guess uh, I will see you in the next video. So, until then, game on.